Here's how you can create a talking AI avatar clone of yourself using only your phone. Okay, so that intro that you just saw was actually my AI avatar, so I didn't record that. It was completely AI generated, so that's pretty crazy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do the same thing to create an AI clone of yourself that you can use to make videos for social media, explainers and training videos, or really any other type of talking head video. It's pretty insane just how good these AI avatars have gotten in the past couple of months, and I'm predicting that within the next couple of months, we'll have full AI-generated YouTube videos using these avatars so people don't even need to record anymore. That's wild. But we're not quite there yet, so let's dive into how you can create your digital clone today using just your phone. The tool we're going to be using is called HeyGen, and it's a relatively new tool for creating these AI videos. But in my content marketing agency, I've tried all of the like AI video generators, and this is my favorite one right now. I've got a link to it in the description that you can use for a free trial if you want to help out this channel, but you don't have to use that link if you don't want to, it doesn't bother me. Okay, so jumping right in, you're going to click on that link and you're going to be brought to the HeyGen homepage here, and it's going to show you basically what HeyGen is, how it works, uh, I've been showing you AI powered video creations at scale, so it does a little demo here showing what's possible and then dives into some use cases. Uh, if you want to explore that you can, but we're just going to hit this button that says get started for free. And then you'll be brought to this login page here. So you can either sign up with email or do a single sign on with Google or Facebook. I'm just going to sign on with my Google account. And then once you create your account for totally free, you'll be brought to the application homepage. There's a couple different things you can do within HeyGen, including the instant avatar, photo avatar, uh, AI script writing, studio avatars, or you can even do things like translating videos from one language to another and it'll move your mouth and change what you're speaking to look like you're actually speaking that other language which is pretty cool and if you're interested in that i'll make another video on that later but what we want is we want to create an instant avatar so you can either click the button here you'll see i've made two instant avatars one of me and one of my friend already um, or you can go over to this avatar here and create it here or there now the one we're going to be using to make our avatar is this instant avatar right here. And so you also have the option to choose photo avatar or studio avatar as well. So photo avatar is like if you want to just animate a picture talking and studio avatar is like a high grade professional quality avatar that you have the option to do as well. But you'll need like expensive cameras and equipment and lighting and a green screen and all that. So we're not going to do this one for today. We're just going to stick with the instant avatar because we can create it easily and with just our phone. So I'm just going to click this create instant avatar button and we'll see that we brought to the avatar creation page so this is the founder josh he's just giving us some information about creating our ai video and our ai avatars um, i'm just going to go ahead and get past that and hit get started and then we're going to go into the instructions for creating our avatar so basically the way that this works is you're going to need to record a two to five minute video of yourself just speaking to the camera kind of like i'm doing now and then once you upload that video to HeyGen, it's basically going to analyze it for you. It's gonna see like what you look like, how you talk, how you move your hands and things like that. And then it's gonna create an AI avatar from that video for you that you can then use to create videos that are AI generated. Let's move on and click these text instructions and it's gonna give us some instructions on how to create our video. So these are some recommendations from HeyGen that I recommend you follow if you want to get the best quality and the best looking avatar. So you'll see things like make sure you submit at least two minutes of footage, uh, make sure it's also less than five or HeyGen will reject it. Use a high resolution camera so you can either use like an actual DSLR or mirrorless camera or just your phone will be good as well. So the back camera on your phone is going to be better than the front camera but if you need to read from a script or a teleprompter you can use the front facing camera as well and it will be good enough to generate an avatar for you. Um, recording a well lit quiet environment environment so one recording tip you want to make sure that your face is well lit and the easiest way to do this is to just stand in front of a window I'm sure that you have windows in your house or have a place with windows and natural lighting to make sure that you're nicely lit from the front and you don't have any shadows or any harsh lighting on your face and doing that's going to get the best avatar for you um, you also want to make sure you look directly into the camera so when you're speaking to a camera you want to look directly into the lens um, you want to make sure that you are pausing with, with sentences and make sure that your mouth's closed and then use generic gestures. So things like hands moving around like this. Um, so don't be like pointing off in different directions. And the reason for that is when an AI is generating your video, it's going to be generating pointing gestures if you are pointing in this training video and it might not match the words that you're speaking. Also want to make sure that you avoid stitches or cuts in your footage. So make sure it's just one long video. Um, you don't want to be changing the 
background or changing positions of the camera. You don't want to have any loud noises or anything or overexposure on your face. Um, you don't want to be looking around too much. And like I said, you don't want to be using pointing gestures. Now I want to make a quick note that the AI videos that you will be generating are going to look exactly the way that you record. So everything that you do in the recording will be captured by the AI and it will put those in the videos that you generate later. So your shirt, the clothing, the background, the lighting, the way things look, all of that will look the same in the AI generated videos as they do in your training video. So just make sure that it looks how you want it to look. All right, moving forward, then we're gonna go to the part where we actually need to upload our footage. So you can either upload the footage or record it with a webcam. I recommend uploading the footage here. You can do the with the webcam, but it's just for kind of like quick trial. If you want it to be good quality, you want to upload it here. And they offer the option to use a Google Drive link or just drag and drop it here. A lot of times I'll have to upload it to Google Drive first though, just because the video files are too big or they're bigger than two gigabytes. So I'll upload it to Google Drive instead of just dragging and dropping it there. But if you do have a smaller file, you can just drag and drop it. All right, so let me just get my link. So there is the link to my Google Drive video and it's going to analyze it and make sure it's good. And then we just have to say that my face is visible at all times. I'm looking at the camera. There's no pause it or there are pauses and that the environment is well lit and quiet. So we just need to acknowledge that and say that the footage looks good and we're brought to the next screen here. Now, one we have to do to generate our avatar is record this consent video. And what this is doing is it's basically just confirming that it's actually you in the video and you're not creating deep fakes of people who you don't have permission to make deep fakes for. So it's really a security and legal thing and it's a good thing that this is here, honestly. So to record your video, you're just gonna click record a consent and it's gonna have this little script for you to read here. And so to record this, you can just get on your laptop or your computer and record it with your webcam there. And so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna hit turn on camera and mic and then I'm just gonna record this consent video and then we'll be good to submit it. Once you read that script and record your consent, you're going to see that it's gonna be validated and you're ready to submit your video. So just hit the submit button and then our instant avatar is gonna start being created. All right, great. So our video has been uploaded and it'll be ready in just a few minutes. Usually it takes around five to 10 minutes for these avatars to be created and then we can start using them right away. But since I don't wanna wait for this avatar to be done, I'm just gonna create a video with this previous avatar that I've made of myself. So I'm just gonna select this avatar right here and I'm going to create a video with it. I'll create a landscape video. And then this right here is the video editor. So this is how we create and generate our AI avatar videos just from a text or an audio script. You'll see over here, you have the option of your other avatars or you can pick public ones that HeyGen provides to us, but we're gonna stick with my avatar for now and give it a text script. So I'm just gonna change the text here to say something like, hello, this is my instant avatar. My name is Joey and this is not actually me speaking. It was done with AI. Okay, so you're just gonna write whatever you want your script to say and then you can get a preview of what it's going to sound like so I'm just gonna hit play and see what this will sound like. Give it a second to generate. Hello, this is my instant avatar. My name is Joey and this is not actually me speaking. It was done with AI. So to be honest, the built-in text-to-speech within HeyGen is not my personal favorite. I still think it sounds kind of robotic and obviously not like how I normally speak and what I normally sound like. So I usually like to use a different text-to-speech tool called Eleven Labs and then I bring in the audio script instead. So the way that my general process is I will use 11 labs and create an audio file that sounds like me speaking over there just because I think it sounds more realistic and dynamic. And then I'll bring that into HeyGen here and create my avatar videos from that audio file. 11 labs also has a really cool speech to speech feature that I use a lot with my clients and my agency. And that lets me get super realistic human voices. Cause basically it's me or somebody on my team will record the audio that they want for the video. And then it'll take that and translate it into their voice. So it sounds indistinguishable from them and it's still human and doesn't sound robotic at all. So that's the way I usually like to do it in the way I operate on in my agency. But for the purposes of this video, we'll just do the text to speech here. So you can see what that sounds like. You also have the option to adjust your speed. Um, speed one is usually fine or you can write your own script using GPT here, or you can translate it. So if I wanted to do this in, uh, let's say, uh, let's go down to French, and then I'm gonna hit apply this, and it's gonna take this word and put it in French and see what that sounds like. Bonjour, c'est mon avatar instantané. Je m'appelle Joey, et ce n'est pas moi qui parle, cela a été fait avec l'IA. 
Again, still sounds a little bit robotic, but I don't speak French, and this sounds like me speaking French, so I think that's pretty cool. But let's go back to English, because I know English. So I'm going to go back to my English text here, and once we have it how we want it to do, we are going to hit Submit up here, and then we're going to Confirm Submit. So we're going to see that this video costs 0 0.5 credits, and I have 17.5 left. So I'm going to say, yep, I have enough credits. We'll submit it to be made, and that's good. And then once we submit it, we just got to wait for it to be created. Quick note on how the pricing works in HeyGen. Uh, if you click this button down here, you'll go to this pricing page, which shows you the pricing plans for HeyGen. And you're able to create an account and use the photo and the public avatars for free. But if you want to create your own instant avatar, you will need to jump up to this creator plan. You used to be able to create one instant avatar for free on the free plan, but they recently changed that because they were just getting so much demand and unable to keep up with all the free ones. So now, unfortunately, you can't create an instant avatar for free like you used to be able to. But if you upgrade to the creator plan, then you're able to create three instant avatars. And this is pretty much just how it works in AI and tech world. Typically, companies will release a product that's super cool for free and let you get to try it out and get you to love it. And then they'll stop it from being free. And so you have to pay for it. So that's just where we're at now. The pricing still isn't too bad, though. So I'm usually on the creator plan, and that is $29 a month. And with that, you get 15 credits. And the way that the credits work is it's basically one credit per one minute of generated video. So if you scroll over this eye here, you'll see this. So videos are rounded up to 30 seconds as well. So that means if you generate a video that's 27 seconds long, that'll be the same thing as half a credit or 30 seconds. Or if you generate a video that's 42 seconds long, that'll be rounded up to one minute or one full credit and so on and so forth. So for 15 credits, that means you can generate 15 minutes worth of video per month. And then you obviously you can slide it if you want more and it's two us dollars per credit so essentially two dollars per minute of video so this is the plan i usually use with clients in my agency is this creator plan but if you want to upgrade to things like 4k resolution faster video generation and team collaboration then you'll have to do the business plan but usually creator is fine for instant avatars another quick thing about pricing and upgrading that i want to mention before moving on is you have the option to what's called fine tune your avatar but what it does is it uses a different ai algorithm to train the avatar to get it looking better and even more like you. So the way that you would get there is on your instant avatar, you would just click over the three dots and go to fine tune. And then you, and then you would pay per fine tune avatar. I usually don't do the pro voice because I do the voices in 11 labs, but so it's like $50 a month to have a fine tune one and whether or not it's worth it really depends on your use case. So if you're just messing around and playing around with these avatars, you don't really need it. But if you're going to be using it for posting on social media or any kind of professional or commercial reason, I do think it does actually make a big difference and it is noticeably better than the instant avatar ones. Like it's almost indistinguishable how good these ones are. If you want to see a difference between the fine tune and the regular avatar, um, leave a comment down below and I can make a video showing the differences on that if you want. Okay, now let's go check out how our video turned out. So we're going to go back over here to video and see that our video here is done. So we're going to click on it and watch it and see what it looks like. Hello, this is my instant avatar. My name is Joey, and this is not actually me speaking. It was done with AI. So that's pretty impressive, if you ask me. can tell the voice is still kind of robotic because of the way that we generated it within HeyGen instead of using my preferred method. But the mouth lip sync and the movement of the hands and everything, it's very incredible. So if you use this for like a short form video that's edited and has captions and transitions and stuff like that, it blends in so well and you can't even tell the difference. But you'll see what I'm saying, how like the voice is really what makes a difference for the AI and telling what's AI and what's not now. So the intro to this YouTube video that you're watching, that I used the 11 Labs generator and you can tell how much better that one is compared to the standard page and text to speech generator. Now that we have our final video, we're able to do with it whatever we want. We can edit it and post it for social media, upload it to our company for products product or educational videos or whatever we want really. I like to treat these HeyGen AI videos as raw recordings and then edit them for social media videos. And in fact, I do that for my clients at my agency. So if you're interested in that, you can reach out at the link in the description. Or I've also put together an entire masterclass on generating and editing AI videos for social media. So that goes through like the HeyGen and the 11 Labs thing and then the whole editing process that I mentioned. And that's also totally free. So you can get that at the link in the description as well. If you found this video helpful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want more practical AI videos like this one. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.